in the meantime I hope everybody's doing well alhamdulillah it's you know it's another day alhamdulillah and glad to see everyone is doing well and um, it's nice to see folks joining in and um, hope everyone is having a good Sunday so far um, a lot of the good things that we always look forward to doing we can't but still it's a blessing from Allah every day we're able to uh, enjoy another day it's a tremendous blessing so alhamdulillah for that so inshallah we'll wait a couple um, I don't usually like to wait but um, I was told by our social media social media professionals that you know this is what I must do so I always listen so inshallah we will start in a second appreciate it uh, it's good to see everybody joining in alhamdulillah it's, Hope everybody's doing fine and inshallah we're looking forward for uh, to another week ahead of us. You know Asalaamu Alaikum wa alaikum salam to everyone. Alhamdulillah, thanks for joining in again. Alhamdulillah. So we'll just wait a second to go and we'll get going inshallah. Okay, let's go. In Alhamdulillah, in Ahmadu, when I stay in when I stuck for when I would be lahi min shuri and fusina, women say yati amalina, my yahidilla, fala mudulla, wa my yulu fala hadiella. I shadow and la ilahila law who are hadula shirikala, wa shadow anna Muhammadan Abdu or Suluhu. I open pray by the grace of Allah, all is well with everyone. I know many of you are either, I mean, here in I see based on the names popping up. A lot of you right here in New Jersey, I see, uh, I even saw someone there from Guyana, and I know, uh, I see a Florida, I see, um, uh, who else, I see a Maryland, I see a couple of other states popping up, so Alhamdulillah, you know, may Allah SWT keep you all safe, and uh, every day is another day of blessings and an opportunity for us to make significant changes in our lives, in our families' lives, and in the lives of our community. I pray that Allah SWT continue to bless us all with good strength and stronger Iman than ever before. For many families, in fact, most of us these days, these months have been most difficult and stressful times, most stressful time in our lifetime. Remember that you're not alone. We're all in this together, inshallah, as a community. I pray that Allah SWT bless us all with much patience during these very difficult days and testing times. And that he, Allah SWT, continue to strengthen our Iman and our character. During the month of April, as predicted, our families continue to lose loved ones. And many others have contracted the virus. Last week, we lost some members from the NIA community again. Brother Ahmad Taj Shivdiyal, popularly known to us as Rojaboy, Brother Rojaboy. He was the brother of Sister Elaine, Sister Nazma Lakan, Sister Karunisha Wong, and father of two and grandfather of three. Also, yesterday we lost our beloved brother Jerry Siraj, who we will dearly miss at the Masjid. He was the dad of our very own brother Afzal, brother Mike, our financial officer here at the Masjid. Brother Jerry was the sister of Sister Khartoum, and along with brother Afzal, he was the father of Rahana, Araf, Altab, Jenny, Gerald, Janet, Maureen, and the grandfather of 20 and the grandkids of seven. Uh, grandfather of amongst you may know, um, you know, some of the kids in the masjid, uh, Amar and Zaid and Sophia and many others, and may Allah SWT bless them all. So this has been a very difficult week, especially for the family of Brother Afzal, you know, um, and Sister Khartoum losing her brother one day, and two days later her husband. Same thing, Brother Afzal, he lost an uncle, and then two days later, uh, in a short span, he lost his dad. And we pray to Allah SWT, shower upon the deceased his mercy and forgiveness, and grant them the status of uh, shuhada, and eternal rest and genital for those. And for our viewers also who have lost any loved ones, we pray to Allah SWT, shower upon them his mercy and his forgiveness, and grant them eternal rest and genital for those. Also today I found out that Brother Sheikh and Kalam in Dagi from NIA and also Brother Bodo, they lost their mother-in-law, um, Danwagi um, uh, Kuwari, known as Galo. We pray to Allah SWT bless the family with patience during these very tough days. 
Also, many of you I know and your relatives are still battling with the virus and are either you know, sick at home or in the hospital or has been recently discharged and trying to recover. We pray that Allah SWT grant you all a speedy recovery and a quick return back to your full health. Ameen. Asallallahu yeah. al-Azim, Rabbul Arsh al-Azim, and Yashfi O Lord Almighty, Lord of the Magnificent Throne, please grant cure to all of them. Ameen. You know, all of, our, all of our lives have changed over the last two months. Many of the blessings that Allah SWT has given to us over the years have been taken away. Many of the good things that we've come to enjoy and taken for granted are no more. We are all hoping and praying that these good things can come back to normal again. With these unprecedented changes, we need to come to the realization that in it are lessons for all of us. It is a reflection on our lives, the state of our affairs, the state of our community, our nation, and the world at large. For Allah does not change the blessings He has bestowed on you. Allah does not change the, blessing, the blessings He has bestowed upon us or a nation unless you, me, our nation, the people have become a different person or a different nation. Because Allah SWT says in Surah Anfal, uh, chapter 8, He said, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem, ذَلِكَ بِأَنَّ لَهُمْ لَمْ يَكُومُ غَيِّرًا نِعْمَةً عَنْ عَمَهَا عَلَىٰ قَوْمٍ حَتَّى يُغَيِّرُ مَا بِأَنفُسِهِمْ وَأَنَّ اللَّهَ سَمِيعٌ عَلِيمٌ That is because Allah would not change a favor which He has bestowed upon a people until they change what it is within themselves. Indeed, Allah is hearing Allah is all knowing. So, brothers and sisters, myself, friends, and families, let us all check ourselves, look at the person in the mirror, and see what we have become over the last few years. And remember, Allah SWT is all hearing, all seeing. Let us all play our part in getting back these bounties, getting things back to normal by making positive changes in our lives. See what shortcomings we have and then take active steps to improve ourselves. Even if we think we are good, we can get better. Let us change our ways. Let us change the way we do things. You know, maybe the way we deal with Allah's prohibitions, maybe our character and our conduct, maybe our praise and our worship. Let us make these changes now. Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow there is no guarantee. The past is gone, but we should never despair the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us take a look at the verse of hope in Surah Zumar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Zumar, chapter 39, ayah 53. قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَصْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَخْفِرُ ذُنُوبَ جَمِيعًا إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Beautiful. Say, O my worshippers, who have transgressed against themselves, never lose hope of Allah's mercy. Surely Allah will forgive all your sins. He is the most forgiven, the most merciful. So Alhamdulillah, now we're all happy. But don't wait, because shaitan is not happy. The devil is not happy. That is why Allah SWT says right after this verse that turn back to your Lord quickly. Surrender to him first before punishment comes to us. Before punishment comes to you. Come to us and you will not before punishment come to us and you will not be helped at all. Allah SWT says in the following verse A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem وَأَنِيبُوا إِلَىٰ رَبِّكُمْ وَأَسْلِمُوا لَهُ مِنْ قَبْلِ أَنْ يَأْتِيَكُمُ الْأَذَابِ ثُمَّ لَا تُنْصَرُونَ Turn back to your Lord and surrender yourselves to Him before the chastisement comes and overtakes you and then you will receive no help. So Allah has reminded us that He will forgive all of our sins but seek that forgiveness quickly let us turn back now, for tomorrow is not guaranteed. 
in my last week update, we give a big shout out to all of you who are the first responders, healthcare workers, and those essential workers that we all depend on. This week, inshallah, I want to add to that. Our NIA community has really risen to the occasion. Many communities have risen to the occasion. Our administration, alhamdulillah, of our volunteers are stepping up in an enormous way, very big way, despite the many challenges they've been faced. They continue to find innovative ways to serve our community. Amazing, alhamdulillah. So much continues to be done on the back end and also in public. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to bless all of us. And also this is the case with many masajid all over the country. All of them continue to work. We see on Facebook, we hear about it. The amazing work they're doing for the community. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to strengthen all our leadership teams all over the world, all over the country, so that we may continue to be eff effective despite the many challenges. Alhamdulillah, big shout out to Brother Abdel and his team in preparing meals for the many hospitals. You know, we have done some already and inshallah this week we'll be doing a, a couple more. And also to Brother Tahir and Sister Wafi and the team for distributing food hampers to the folks that requested it. I think we distributed uh, 17 hampers today. Uh, so many of the folks uh, came uh, or called in after our last week uh, Facebook Live update. And Alhamdulillah, the hamper distribution is being done in collaboration with Smile and Ikni Relief. Alhamdulillah, we have plans, um, a lot of plans on the way for us to all have a wonderful Ramadan. Our social media team, our PR team, our Corona Virus Task Force, our Shura Council are really working hard for us uh, to create a wonderful experience for all of us, inshallah. And I know there was a question about the prayer chart. Uh, the prayer chart is done, alhamdulillah, with all the times when to stop eating and when to break fast and the times for the salah, inshallah. So this will be posted by the end of this weekend, inshallah, or by tomorrow. Um, also, there'll be a schedule with all the presentations. We'll have presentations in the morning after Fajr, some chronic recitation. We'll have some presentation after Dhuhr. And inshallah, we'll have the presentation like half an hour be before the time of the breaking of the fast. And then inshallah, some athka, and then inshallah, uh, we'll be breaking fast. Also, I just want you to know that uh, the first night of Tarawi, inshallah, will be this Thursday night. This Thursday night will be first night of Tarawi. And the first day of fasting will be Friday, inshallah. Friday, the first day of fast, Friday, April 24th, 2020. So inshallah, as you know, Ramadan is right here upon us. So the big question is, can we enjoy our Ramadan without the masjid? And you know, I've been looking to find the right words to tell everyone that inshallah, we can have the best Ramadan experience ever. And I was trying to put together my words and then I saw, um, I saw a post that uh, my daughter Sarah forwarded uh, from Sheikh Yasser Qadi. And I said, you know, those words are exactly the words that I would like to say to myself and to our community. So I'll read those words from Sheikh Yasser Qadi. He says, by now, it is fairly certain that most of us will be in lockdown throughout the month of Ramadan. That means no Tarawi prayer and no Masjid Iftars and no Juma and no Eid. For one segment, this will prove to be the worst Ramadan in their lives. They wouldn't be able to feel the spirit of the month and they will drag through the days waiting for it to end. For another segment of the community, and I hope for our brothers and sisters watching and for myself and family, this will be the absolute all-time best Ramadan of their lives. That is because they will discover the pleasure of worshipping Allah in private and the joys of reciting the Quran and the serenity that long, quiet prostration brings in the darkness hours of the night. They will realize that while social events in previous Ramadan helped them to feel the communal spirit, they, they came to at the cost of personal development. And hence, now is now in this time, forced by circumstances and appreciating all those blessings that they took for granted, they shall discover the real meaning of worship. A mean that transcends society and is independent of crowds and congregation because all that is needed is the presence of an attentive 
humbling heart, an attentive heart humbling itself in front of its creator. And so, yes, we are sad. We won't witness the communal Ramadan, but that wouldn't prevent us from trying to make this upcoming, this upcoming Ramadan the best one of our lives. So again, inshallah, I, I thank you for um, staying tuned and, uh, and being, uh, being informed of what is happening in our masjid. I hope and pray that these last few days uh, we will make the best, pre the best preparation. And we ask Allah SWT to bless us to witness Ramadan. Because brothers and sisters, there's no guarantee that as much as we close to Ramadan, there's no guarantee. As many of us know, we speak to somebody today and then tomorrow they're gone or tomorrow they're hospitalized and so on. So we always keep asking Allah SWT, you know, to give us that experience. Let us enjoy that Ramadan. I encourage brothers and sisters again, as I did last week, if you're having a difficult time, please call us. If you're having a difficult time financially, please call the masjid at 973-482-8996. Leave a message. Sister Sumaya or one of the team will get back to you. If it's food or hampers or any other type of assistance, leave the message and inshallah we will get back to you. As a community, we're in this together and inshallah we will try our best to make sure that we're there for you. I want all of us to enjoy a wonderful Ramadan. They, you know, transform your homes. Brothers and sisters, transform your homes and make your homes into a masjid. Enjoy the Ramadan experience. You know, Allah SWT has given us this opportunity amidst the trials and tribulations, but Allah has given us the opportunity to transfer our homes. Call the Adhan. Call the Adhan in the home. Break your fast together. We will try to do as much things as possible. Also, for, the lo for those who have lost loved ones or you feel isolated and you want to get your family together, inshallah, we have the Zoom platform that we can make available to you. You know, we did a couple of weeks the last couple of days that we have one scheduled for tomorrow also if whoever watching if there's a lot uh, a loved one that passed and families are not able to come together and you need help to set up a zoom platform please let us know and inshallah we will uh, bring your family together and we'll facilitate it and inshallah Ramadan, we'll try to do a couple of zoom iftar breaking also these are all things because i know we like the spirit of breaking fast together but inshallah try to spread it with your family um, I will pause here, inshallah, and see if, uh, if you have any questions. And um, the team here will let me know if you have any questions so I can answer it. I think one of the questions was uh, the Ramadan prayer time and so on. Inshallah, that will be posted. The schedule for Ramadan, inshallah, is going to be posted also with the different speakers and the time. Every Friday during Jumar time, inshallah, we'll post, um, you know, uh, a khatira. Uh, so that at least during the Jumar time, you can look at it. Inshallah, uh, it's not a, it is not a khutbah because there's no khutbah, you know, now. So, but it's a nice, you know, uh, last week Sheikh Daoud did a wonderful one and I hope, Inshallah, you were able to look at it. If not, it still remains on site and you can look at it. Um, so, Inshallah, we'll try our best to make sure that you all have a, a wonderful Ramadan experience. And if you need any help whatsoever, please give us a call. As a community, we're here for you. You know, it's no use being part of a community and we're not here for you. I know many of us, we're also trying and battling with our daily challenges. But inshallah, our team, our brothers and sisters, with good health, inshallah, we will never run from hard work. We will always be there for you, inshallah, as a community. So again, um, I'll just pause again to see if there's any question. Um, no questions again, inshallah. Uh, enjoy, the, enjoy the rest of your evening. And I hope and I hope and pray that Allah SWT keep us safe. I pray to Allah SWT and protect us from the virus. Uh, all those brothers and sisters not well. I ask Allah SWT you know, to bless you with a speedy recovery. And again, shukran, thank you for watching. And please uh, stay tuned for further information about uh, whatever we'll be doing. Again, inshallah, please start making preparation for, uh, for Salatul Tarawi. Um, on Thursday night. In the meantime, please make sure that we establish in those five salah at home. Please, because that's far. You know, so inshallah Thursday night for uh, uh, Tarawi and inshallah Friday for the beautiful month of Ramadan, for the first day of fasting. And I pray to Allah SWT bless us all. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Jazakum Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.